Yes, we're here, Chris Sheeran, and I got to tell you, it's it's so nice to see the face of Ryan Rucco. I cannot begin to tell you. It's been so long. It seems like the Nets played 10 years ago, buddy. It's just great to see your oh. face and talk a little sports with you, pal. Uh, you too, man. And how about to see my head? I'm like you now, man. I joined what? the club. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. I joined the club. Happen? Yeah, when did this happen? You know what? I don't know. I, I wonder if you followed a similar path. Like, so... I mean, you, 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 my you, path was about a quarter century, <laughs> <laughs> but, but let me ask you this. So beginning of quarantine, I realized like, like, okay, I'm not going to be able to get a haircut. And like, I've been wanting to maybe do this anyway. And I, cause I already faced certain limitations with right. what I could do with my hair, you know? And so I like, I, I start off with like a two. You know, and I'm like, I got gotcha, you. I yeah. like this. And then I'm like, <laughs> let me see what a one look. And I go to the uh -huh. one. And then all of a sudden, my fiance, Andrea, is like, I love it short. You should try it even short. So I go to like the eighth of an inch. And then, slow and then finally, I was like, forget it. I'm taking out the razor and I'm just going to see what the thing looks like with it totally shaved. And you know what? It's the favorite incarnation of my fiance, me, I think the general public. So I'm going with it, man. Well, let me tell you, and, and this is the God's honest truth. You need to have a nice head if you do this. And thank the good Lord above, both of us yeah. have that nice contoured good, head. Good shaped dome, right? Yes, and face where we could pull this look off and make <laughs> it look good. We're like the men in black, but we're the men in bald. And, I and like that. Like, like Will Smith said, we make this look good. <laughs> so, it's funny, man. It, <laughs> it's like... It, 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 and, and I mean, I guess it's a little maintenance as far as like, you know, shaving in the shower every morning or whatever, but oh my gosh, what a relief. I, Chris, how much easier is life when, when you got a bald head? It's a beautiful thing. You. And now you could work in the goatee every once in a while. See, now you could have the evil Ryan and the good Ryan. Like I have the evil <laughs> Chris and the good Chris. The good Chris is back, as you could see. I see and that. And How Howard Cross, our former colleague at yes. Yeah used to call me when I did sideline for Ivy League football. He called me a lighthouse. He, he, he would used to have me spin around on the sideline because my head was like the light bringing ships home. Oh, so, my God. Thank you for that, Howard. And, and it's nice of you to join the club, Ryan. I, I, I wasn't going to bring it up, but I was going to tell you it looked good. Hey, I appreciate that, and I am so happy to be a part of the club. The real reason why we did want to do this is because we're both heavy into podcasts and you have a tremendously successful one with CC Sabathia, which is fantastic because, you know, when you get CC in the locker room, he's, he's great. He never holds anything back in the locker room, but there's always that line he doesn't cross. Maybe one, once or twice he has, but when you get him on that podcast, Ryan, it is amazing because you get the full CC, the full package, and you two together, uh, how good you are and how open and honest he is, and all of your guests are tremendous. I mean, I, you guys have built something so special. Thank you, man. Thank you for saying that, Chris. I mean, I think uh, the cool thing is what you were just talking about, right? How open and honest CC is. Like, that just makes all the difference in the world because, first of all, it, it allows us to get great content from him himself, right? Because he's not holding back at all. You know, the cool thing was we did it, we started it, you know, um, while he was still an active player, but while he had already basically accomplished everything that he had wanted to, right? So he, he already has this personality of like kind of being, as you talked about, being open and honest, but then he was able to cross whatever threshold he was holding back on, you know, for the general media, um, in our podcast, I think because he was at a point in his career where it's like, I've done everything I want to do. You know, I'm so comfortable with who I am. He talks about it all the time. It's funny. We did just did a, an Instagram live uh, for MLB uh, with our R2C2. Account. I saw that. Yes. Yeah. And I asked him, I said, when did you get this, like this total comfort with just being honest, being yourself, whatever. And he said, honestly, it came after rehab. You know, when he wow. came back from alcohol rehab, that's when he realized I have nothing left to hide. Everybody knows what I just went through, you know, and I am so comfortable with owning my journey. And uh, I mean, Chris, you know, from doing podcasts as well, the best thing that we can give our audience is a, a, a true, comfortable and honest look at things and a setting where the guests feel like they can, uh, 
you know, let the guard down and be well, that, themselves. That, that's the thing. You know as well as anybody, if, if you're calling an NBA game, for example, th there's just so much conversation you could have. You have to pay attention to the game. If you're doing an in-studio interview, if you're doing the pre- or post-game show and you have somebody on, you know it's, it's timed. you got to be in and out by a certain time. There's always that fear of the time running out, and you really can't get into the full conversation that's the great thing about podcasts and that's the great thing about your podcast is that you could unzip a, a person and get in there and you could go to different areas of that person get almost everything and if you didn't get everything something you open maybe you want to go down that path with them you get them on next time you go down that path and that opens more doors that's the beauty of having that conversational back and forth the way you have with CC. Some of the coolest stuff for us is like when we get done with in with Michael Strahan or Albert right. Pujols or you know uh, John Lester, and at the end they're all like, or, or Manny Machado, they're like, "Wow, that was so much fun! I want to do that again." Or like, and it doesn't had, even feel it doesn't even it, feel like it lasted an hour. No, it, it, it feels it does, like it was it, ten minutes. It goes you're just like that. Fun. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Like I somebody we had, I think this year when we had Austin Romine, he was like. He looked up at the clock and he was like, oh, no, 45 minutes has gone by. Oh, this is why did it go so fast? You know, like and that's the feeling you want from your guests, you know, and, and I, I'll say this. And this is one thing. And I probably don't bring this up uh, enough when people ask about like origins of the podcast and stuff. But I think it's so essential to why we've been able to, you know, do what we've done thus far and build a little following and, and, and you know, and have, um, you know, moderate success with the podcast. Oh come on! Don't be, don't be modest. No, well, I mean, it's not, it's not the Joe Rogan experience, right? But, it, but okay, but, all right. right, but, but we've done, you know, it's been, it's been good. But I really think the number one reason why has been CC's commitment to it, because what you've seen from other, you know, athletes who have, you know, undertaken this while they're playing, is they at some point fall off, right? Oh, it's tough. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. because because you have a million other things going on, you know, and. And this isn't their main priority, nor should it be, you know. But CC has found a way. It seems like a so release dedicated. for him. It, yeah. it seems like a he release. Loves it. It, he yeah. loves doing it, man. He loves doing it. And so that, to me, is the thing I'm most grateful for because his commitment to it gave us a chance to actually grow it. And if he's not so engaged and invested in it, well, then it doesn't happen. Like, I mean, I've seen it, I've seen it with so many different athletes who could be great at this, but, like, you know, they have a million things going on. And so they, they want to do it, but they, they're not able to fully jump in. Stacey fully jumped in. And I think that has really been to our benefit on the pod. And, and the name obviously comes from Star Wars. And yes. Ryan Rucco, R squared, CC Sabathia, C squared. Uh, I know you're like this huge Star Wars fan. So I know that's where the genesis of the name came from. But is CC the same? Is he a huge Star Wars fan too? Huge, man. Huge. And it's funny because we were like on a group chat with our family and friends when we were trying to come up with a name. And my dad was the one who said R2C2. And, uh, and I texted Cece. I was like, hey, I think your name should be first. Uh, but what do you think about this? And he was like, that's it. He's like, I don't care about my name being first. That's the winner, man. That is absolutely the winner. And it, just to give you an idea of how diehard Star Wars Cece is, he just got done re-watching every single Star Wars movie in order, of which he does at the start of every baseball season. Which wow. he, ha he hasn't been able to do. Uh, obviously, they didn't have the baseball season, so he's finally like, I got to do it. Um, and, uh, and so he, uh, he just got done doing that. And he's, he's such a big fan that he wants to watch Clone Wars, which is an animated series, as Jeff Quagliata, yeah. our head of research, oh, God. about. And I love Clone Star Wars, Wars fan. But Amber won't let him watch. She's like, I can't, you can't do the animated thing, okay? I can't have it here. <laughs> so he can't wait till he's back on the road because he's been planning to watch Clone Wars on the road. And he's like, I can't watch it in my home, but I need to see it. So he is hardcore. Thank you so much. It was so nice to see your face. So nice to, to just talk about something else other than being locked away in our houses. We appreciate the time as always. Uh, thanks a lot, buddy. Of course, my man. And I'm glad we were able to uh, finally get the council together to talk about the proper techniques when it comes to shaving one's head. <laughs> Absolutely.